But again, got to be tough with true, two true freshmen starting up front. I formation to start. It's Isaiah Spiller, who, which is a major issue in terms of chemistry on that O line. Calzada is to get tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Fred Peter. Actually, love the play call early here by Jimbo Fisher. Get your quarterback outside the pocket. Two options one short, one medium. The ball is a hair behind his receipt. Isaiah Spiller, tremendous running back for Texas AM. Play action to him. And a swing outside into coverage. Anaya Smith is a not something they did a lot last year. Not something that's really in the Jimbo Fisher offense a ton, but he's got to throw the slant route right there. This is the RPO. That's the option right there. Nobody, right? That running back route is the outlet. That's if everybody flows to the slant, you flip it out wide. So first RPO of the day, and Calzada missed one. Demas was the receiver that had the ball bounce off of him that led to the pick. Now they'll run it on second and 11. And Isaiah Spiller. 28th consecutive start for All-American Kenyon Green at left guard. Here's Spiller. He's got the yard. He's got plenty more into state territory, and he gets tripped up and leaning forward. Here by number 64, that really opens up the whole great job by Fathery coming all the way across from that right tackle position as well. We go right back to the well. Spiller bottled up after a gain of... They show pressure. Here it comes. And they drop others on the back. Now, corner. Injo, touchdown. A lot of work to get him down the field, but nothing better than this block right here in the A gap to give Calzada some time. Look at the pickup right there on Jet Johnson to allow Calzada. What page my second down calls are on? Hold on. Little rumble for A chain, and he gets to the outside and trip. There's so much that he has to handle protections, checks. Room for A-Chain again. He's been a breath of fresh air. I mean, this guy has Olympic-type speed, but he's not a track guy. He's a football player. He can make you miss, get vertical, and be physical when he needs to be. Same numbers as a high school running back and receiver. Get another crack at it here. This time, State has it well defined. Meyer at the line of scrimmage. Calzada looking for his tight end. Instead, goes to the outside. And it's a nice... Calzada looking in zone way over there in this offense for the past few weeks on second and ten Calzada's gonna keep it and he slides in they're gonna throw it now well covered Calzada lost it there's miscommunication on the outside watch Zach Calzada here he kind of double pumps he's ready to throw and the receiver not out of his in the top five largest in college football Isaiah Spiller, his dad played here for our play coming up. They've run it ten times. Spiller gets bottled up. Still got to dial it up. Third and a short two. They're going play action. Pass was tipped. Kind of a flag on the play. Back to back great plays. The previous play, Jet Johnson blew it blew it up in the backfield. And this time, where's my mom when I need her? Yeah, could she be all over? She it? call in at least. Could we put her on. Via FaceTime, here's Isaiah Spiller fighting his way forward. And the ball came loose. One reason that this run game is getting going a little bit more for Texas A&M. They've tightened the splits down a little bit, trying to maybe cut down on some of the leakage and some of the penetration. You can see that's a, I've seen a couple of these that are about four inches. That one's about six to eight. You're normally going to go two. Averaging nearly eight yards a carry. Here's Spiller again trying to shake. And he just. Fresh set of downs for the Aggies. Calzada to throw. Got all day and wide open for a first down and plenty more is Jay about the lack of downhill passing attack. There's two or three guys going deep and Calzada lets it sort out, sort out, and Griffin right underneath of the deep zone cover by Zach Calzada. Back to the run game. Spiller lost it. Four-man rush. Calzada to scramble. It looks like. You're going to see down here, the bottom of your screen, Griffin. Yeah, that's one that's a, it just put. has been one of his complaints. He's having a hard time finding his passing lanes. He's not a small quarterback. That lane was wide open, and Anaya Smith. He's got to have at least five, six touches, if not more than that, through the air every single game, 10 to 12. Here's Spiller. Join Spiller in the backfield. 
Here's Anaya Smith to the 10. And that's going to set up running back now for the Aggies. Calzada taken down. Untouched through the middle right here. See left guard there. Kenyon Green slides outside. Even with great Kentucky teams in recent years. Calzada out of the pocket. Checks behind him. Will throw it. A chain down. Maybe a little longer than I would have liked. In, in my mind, I'm going, wait, just tuck it. Just run. Just run. But does a great job of continuing to buy time. Look, he looked behind him. I don't have pressure. Got a little more time. And A chain ended up opening up late there to the sideline. Uh -oh. So snap got by him. Calzada trying to make something happen. He's also got dudes lined up right on top of him. They go underneath. When you're going all systems go and your foot's on the gas, a lot of times it's easy to forget one of those things. Yeah, and, and a matter of fact, with Jed Johnson blitzing, there wasn't any team. 35 seconds left in the half. State drops eight. They still got pressure on Calzada with only Texas A&M. Athletic family, same with Isaiah Spiller. He gets a touch. Side, now they'll motion Weidermeyer. Spiller. Trying to find a lane again, but State is. Right. See if they bring Jet Johnson 44. Up the A gap. Calzada lets it go. Incomplete. Watch his feet. He doesn't step into this row. See how he's moving backwards. Feet are perpendicular there. Here's Jameer Caparmi. That is There's the same record as Kevin Sumlin did at this point of his AM career. Here's Devon A. Chain. Mike, third and five. Calzada pulls back, lets it go. It's good. Oh, Calzada wanted Weidemeyer here on a 15 yard dig. You can see him pump. Not there. Great. Replace it. One touchdown, one pick so far. For the Cuban missile, Zach Calzada. Here's Spiller. Spin move. And then a host of white jerseys in there. Complete and high step in Preston is able to pick up a few more. He got five and short. See how State defends it. Spiller hits the hole, bounces to the outside, and a shove off. Wow, what a step! Green here, best offensive lineman on the left guard. Watch him bang down and climb all the way up to Jet Johnson. Right there, getting to the second level and allowing Spiller to find some green. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of a weight difference. Just remember, you're more Peloton than uh, bench press. Yeah. Here's Spiller again. Calzada trying to lead block for him. Your quarterback out leading the way? Honestly, I always love doing this. I always wanted to hit a peel back block at some point, so I love it. No, you don't really want it, but as a quarter, you may see a shot play. Nope. Spiller again. They are leaning on it. Fred was a tight end here, had a back injury that cost him the rest of his playing career. Calzada fires at the Weidermeyer. And fourth down to stop Florida. And it looks like the Wildcats are going to be undefeated when we get there next week against LSU. Get 162 games with the Braves to figure it out. Calzada pressured. Shakes. He's got open field in front of him. Zach Calzada! Touchdown! I wouldn't expect him to think, oh, wait, yeah, we, we should be going for two here. Great job avoiding the free rusher. And then right here, making a quick decision, right? We've seen him do a good job of buying time and keeping his eyes down. Chance for Calzada to play hero. He'll hand it off to Devon A-Chain who breaks free. A-Chain getting the block downfield. And one time left in this one. A lot of time left, but a huge drive here for Texas A&M to change the course of this game. And you mentioned the speed of A-Chain. He's not just a track guy, though. That's not a track guy. Most track... It's A chain again. Drag down. Season as a second string quarterback for AM. Pressure from the edge. Complete. Just shy of the first. Again, a great job of buying a little time by Calzada, moving to his left, working through your progression, and finding the outlet. Oh, man, I feel like that. Calzada moves the pocket, lobs in zone. Too strong. I got two good ones to choose from, that's for sure. A-chain bottled up that time. 
look at the movement, right? Mississippi State slanting in the direction that the run was going. He's been a big hitter. Calzada in zone again. Corner route here. A little pressure in the face of Calzada. I think he's got to let this one go a little earlier than he'd like. Between plays. Handoff. Not much doing. Game warm-ups was 52. Calzada. Whoa! What a play. Quickly. Four-man rush. Calzada pressured. In the end zone! Taken down! Jimbo Fisher there. Not really even mad. Just kind of a teaching moment. Pickering there coming late. Yeah, and that knee is down. Yep. 